back with another episode of the Sampler Pod. This is our prediction show for Taylor Swift's old hit, Bad Blood, coming out from straight from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, man. So then we're going to have our tribal chief, Roman Reigns, going to be in action for the first time since WrestleMania. And then our, the story is going to be tur- taking a swerve. Hopefully, uh, we see a bunch of crazy things happening on this uh, pay-per-view, but we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be anyway. cinema. <laughs> That's always, always what they use for them, man. But but also, there, I mean, there's, there's a couple of good matches here. Uh, at least, it seems like uh, there's only five matches. At least, that hey, we're recording this before Monday Night Raw. We don't think anything else is going to happen, but who knows? I heard rumors that they may have Gunther against Jay, but guess what? We we're not counting that. I don't think it's gonna happen right now. Against Jay? Uh, not, not against Jay at the Sammy. Sammy, but I, I have no idea where that's gonna end. But anyways, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, I, no, I don't care no, about that feud. They'll probably do. They'll probably just what? put it on a Monday Night Raw. Just like possibly, possibly. Jay Uso and Braun Breaker match, which was amazing. It would have been a great moment. But I, I guess I see why they did it. They probably didn't want to overshadow what's probably going to happen at Bad Blood. Plus, you, you know, have more people watching. It. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> it's I a mean, good like, like I, I kind of like it just because it, they went back to the roots. Like you remember back a couple years, like years ago, that you could have any moment on the anything on can the, happen on a show. Yeah, on a regular show, anything could happen. So yeah, that was great. Yeah, yeah and that would happen every every blue moon, but. <laughs> But I think this is good, especially with the IC championship, because that's the title for Raw. That's like the the workhorse championship. I think I think it worked really good. To me, it was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I criticize about it is that I don't know if it was a good idea to have Braun Breaker lose already, unless he's going to bigger things, because I don't know. It seems like they pushed him, and then they pulled him back. They pushed him again, pulled him back. I guess they're... Or they may just be trying to measure to see how if he's really over or not, see if people give him a following after this, so... It could be. Gibbs could be anything. A touchdown, by the way. Who? Jameer Gibbs just scored a touchdown. He needs to get more yards. That's what I need him to do. So. That was a three-yard touchdown. Let's go. God, the Lions. No. Hey, at least for my fantasy, it works. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but let's see. Anyways. Uh, all right, man. So um, we have the, the five matches here. I'm not sure what the card is going to be. I'm just going based on WWE's website. So we have Finn Balor versus... Damien Priest. And it seems like it's just a blood feud. So. Well, I mean, it goes well with the pay-per-view name. Yeah. Like, well, they, they, they have, my bad, PLE. Yeah. <clears throat> but honestly, they have a good story uh, going on. I think in-ring, it's going to be really good. In fact, realistically, it could be match of the night in terms of what they can do in-ring. Because they're, they're, they're both really good. Uh, Damien Priest has actually done really well in big situations. And Finn Balor, he's always been great in the ring. That's never been his his criticism. Has always yeah. been kind of on the mic, not not in ring. Because in ring, we you know the guy has always been good. But um, but yeah, man, what what are you thinking about this one? Um, I think Finn Balor is gonna win because uh, of interference. Um, it doesn't. I mean, I think I think this is gonna be the story that is gonna get milked, probably into a Survivor Series. To be honest with you. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I mean, at least because I think I think they have to. Because you have no other big stories going on in Raw, like actual storylines that, you know, yeah. that, that span over a few months. Because, yes, you do have a couple of feuds, but you don't have any, like, big storylines that you can just follow. And, you know, it's kind of more matches. Yeah, for really. the... And realistically, you kind of need another War Games match for Survivor Series. Because right now we're only going to have technically one as we speak <clears throat> mm-hmm. that we can predict. Um, so Raw needs one, so it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be a uh, what is it called? Um, uh, something with the Judgment Day being involved. Yeah, I, th- I think it, it. I mean, it could be. A, but question: Have they had two uh, um, War Games matches? Yeah, last it always year been they one? had the last the year the women's, women's and, and the men. Yeah, but do you think they're gonna have two men's and two women's, or just not have a women's? Um, uh, war games, but then they have the Judgment Day one, and then the Bab, and then the Bloodline one, on the same night. 
I don't know. Let me let me actually look it up, because that <coughs> is uh, that's a good question. Remember that was when the bloodline was doing their thing, so everything else was yeah, kind of irrelevant, I guess. Uh, let's see, it was a Survivor Series. Three. Let's see. Come on. Right, look at Cherry Pepsi Max. Totally <laughs> what is bananas. Is it good? Yeah, Pepsi Max, but it, the cherry, the cherry flavor, the Pepsi cherry flavor. So it's just zero sugar. So I wonder what it tastes like. It no, they only had they, no, no, they didn't. It was uh, just a. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, well, that was the first time that they had War Games. On the oh. on the main roster. Oh, no! Remember yes. this was, lat- no, bro. The I think you're getting confused with the one. No, from- I'm talking. I'm talking about the bloodline one. The bloodline one was the first. Yes, yes. War yes. games on the main roster. Yeah, yeah. And then last year, yeah, we had Judgment Day, and then because the 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 bloodline what didn't have the wasn't in the in the war games thing. Oh, okay. That, I completely no, forgot I mean, about that one. Honestly. <laughs> Uh, realistically, you could have two men ones. Like you don't have, yeah. you don't really have a story unless what you're gonna have what. Um, like Rhea Ripley makes her own group to go against Liv Morgan's group. No, I think the the only thing that would make more sense would be Bailey making her group to go against Nia. That would be the only thing that would make sense. Yeah, but still, there's at not least right now because because their stuff is there's more not- personal with Nia and Bailey's more wrestling related. With uh, Rhea and and um, and Liv, it's more personal, so they might just keep it to. I mean, they don't want to get more people involved in the whole thing. To me, it would be kind you of know, weird. The only problem is that you have, you don't have that many women that are fem- that are uh, women that are female, <laughs> women <laughs> that are heels. Mm, I mean, you could either always way, put either way, either way. Yeah. But this is. What? It doesn't matter. It point. doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter. We're going. We're going into the rabbit hole. Yeah. All right. So uh, who you got? I got Finn. I have no. I think it has to be Finn Balor because if not, there's no way to continue the story. I think uh, <laughs> Demon Priest and Rhea have gotten too many too many wins, in my opinion. So I think they should. I mean, because then what credibility does the judgment they have? Plus the fact if Finn Balor wants to wants to seem like a strong guy like a strong leader for the group he has to beat the old guy that's the only way so that he looks good and granted they have a ton of people like that can jump in so and there's and there's no stipulation in this match at least that i know of so i really yeah you know, so so i think it would it would make it easy uh when so that they wins, can have another match at some point custody of rhea ripley <laughs> Jay shows up. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. Hey, I already put a ring on it. Hey, man. Uh, you know, you know, he's 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 been after her for the longest time. But that's <laughs> fun. All right, so uh, so we both have Finn Balor winning. Uh, next yeah. match, we have Nia Jax versus Bailey for the WWE Women's Championship. <clears throat> I really don't like this match. Mm-hmm. Because we're getting, I mean, like, I get it. Like, she's supposed to have this, the the her uh, her rematch and all that stuff. But I don't know. Like, it's just. But it didn't even go down as a I'm, rematch. I'm, it was she had I'm to just, win this thing. Yeah, to, yeah, she had to uh, win it in order for her to get it. I like. I'm just the two matches tired for of, her to win it. <clears throat> I'm just kind of tired of the Bailey and Naomi thing and Naya triangle that they have. It's like, yeah. it's like kind of getting boring. You know what I mean? Because it's been going on since SummerSlam, realistically. And when was SummerSlam? Wasn't it like uh, August? Yeah, it was last ago? month. Uh, it's te- technically still last month, but by tomorrow it'll be next month. Um, it'll yeah, be an extra month. But it's almost two months. Almost two months ago. So it's like, because it was August 6th or August 4th. Yeah, it was the beginning of August, of August I think. Yeah. But uh, yes. anyways, like... Um, What's probably gonna happen is that uh, what's her name Tiffany is gonna <clears throat> betray Naya and then she's gonna cash in and then win. Hmm. It makes sense because of the bad blood uh, theme of the of the um, what is it called of the PLE. But mm-hmm. then on top of that, like the face that Tiffany had on Friday, 
you know what I mean? After you had some awkwardly, um, whatever you interaction between Naya well, I mean, and, Naya was you know, basically, started, basically had her by the neck. <clears throat> She's like, oh, if I lose, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Do you like a rough? <laughs> That's what it seemed like. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like. Tiffany's eyes oh, got really, really big. <laughs> She's like, oh, I shit. just like. Uh, I'm just like feeling intimidating over here. I'm like, oh my God, like, please let her go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so who do you and see winning? So, you, so you, so you <clears throat> see, so you see Naya losing against, um, you have her uh, winning against Bailey, but losing against Tiffany. Not even that. I don't think the Bailey and Naya match is going to finish. Like it okay. will be it's gonna be like a triple threat. Like it's gonna be like a like Seth Rollins or Drew McIntyre or whatever. This pops up. It's like, hey, I'm part of this now. Yeah, and I think it's just gonna happen like that. Cause like it wouldn't it wouldn't make really too much sense if she waits until the until she ends the match, unless Nia got super beat up by Bailey, which I doubt it. No. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> I think I think they'll do it that way. Something like that. Bailey takes a pin. They could do that. Now, what I think could happen, I'm going to go in a completely different direction. I think it's going to be Naomi turning on turning on Bailey, because the whole thing with Tiffany is too obvious. You know, they have their issues and whatever. Plus the fact you're not going to cash. You already did one quick cash in of her Money in the Bank right at WrestleMania. So do you think they're going to? I don't think they're going to do it right now. Well, it was, um, well, yeah, WrestleMania, well, WrestleMania was Damian Priest, but then you had uh, Drew McIntyre do his quick cash in at Money in the Bank, and he lost it. So I don't think, I think they're going to milk the story a little bit more with the uh, uh, with the briefcase. I think it would make sense. Plus the fact, I don't think people see Naomi necessarily turning, because I don't think she's necessarily a heel. I think they try to make her a heel a little bit. when it was, Wasn't it Team Bad or something like that? And that kind of didn't work. So you imagine, now that you she's... imagine uh, uh, Tiffany fails to cash in again, not again, no. but like we get another failed cash in. It wouldn't. I would just be like Triple H. What are we doing? No, I, I think what, no. What I think what's going to happen is is we're going to have then Naomi and Bailey have their own feud, and then you're going to have Nia Jax and <laughs> Tiffany have their own feud, and Tiffany is going to turn babyface because people like her. That's what I think is going to happen at some point. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be at Royal Rumble or, or WrestleMania, but it's. But I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, but I do think that Naomi Naomi turns on Bailey and Bailey loses. That would be interesting. I'm, I'm looking for a cough drop. That's why I keep looking. <laughs> Sorry. Bad, bro. You're like looking for, looking for stuff all around. Boom! Where's the cough drop? <laughs> but uh, anyways, next match we have Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan. With Dominic in a shark cage above the ring match. <laughs> oh my so, gosh, that, that's legit, bro. I yep. thought that I, whenever I read it, I thought it, I thought you were lying. No, nah, they've they've done that before, but it's uh, <laughs> it's a little uh, bit corny. Yeah, but they've done that in the past. But there's there's a reason why. Because then they have to try to get the key to get out or whatever. So there's probably there's gonna be shenanigans. <laughs> so what is the point of that though? Like, because Rhea doesn't want. Dom, but the whole thing is so so Dominic technically cannot interfere in the match. Ah, uh, okay. That makes Granted, sense. there's three other guys in Judgment Day that can always interfere, but that's fine. Let's go. <laughs> let's just let's just concentrate on Dominic. Uh, I guess, but it's also more for the visual. I mean, just to see him humiliated inside the thing, whatever. It's it's all fun. I mean, it's it's wrestling logic, so we have to suspend your disbelief for a little bit. Um, yeah. By the way, yeah, I am I, getting whooped in my fantasy football uh, match. Yeah. But but the second leg of the t- of the touchdown parlay I told you about mm-hmm. just hit. So like oh, we got two, two down. At least something. So you're, you're moving <laughs> in the right if direction. We win money. If we win money, it doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> but uh, oh and five. <laughs> so so what do you think about this match? Oh, it wasn't a touchdown. Um, <laughs> Rhea Ripley's gonna win. Rhea Ripley? Okay, why? Yeah, I don't see. I don't see them like. Um, 
like I don't see them both winning. Like, you know what I mean? Having both Judgment Day uh, members winning. And what if so it could be just... One, just one's got to give. One's got to give. Unless you're going to put both of them against the ropes. You know what I mean? Like, having both of them lose. Like, but I don't know. Then that means that they will have... They will need help. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe that's what's going to be for Survivor Series. <laughs> instead of what we thought initially. So That's going to be Judgment Day versus uh, the... <laughs> The uh, new <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> I don't know. And Cody Jay shows up. Cody's up. Cody and Cody and Jay show up. Why? Because it's Cody. Why? Jay's fine, but Cody. But Cody's like he just shows up. He's like, yo. Jay is here. <laughs> Why? Because that's my girl. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, I, I, I look. I see Rhea Ripley losing. Uh, they're gonna find a way to cheat. <laughs> Obviously, Dominic's gonna get out of the of the cage somehow. Uh, maybe by opening it, maybe by kind of sliding out. Because sometimes the the bars aren't necessarily that they're, they're pretty wide usually. So if they're thin enough, they could slide through. I could see that happening too. Um, I, I could also see this ending in, in a DQ. I don't know if there's a DQ in this type of match or not because I, I don't know the full stipulation of this thing. Uh, yeah. but I do think Judgment Day definitely gets involved like easily. I think, I think they're gonna try to do they're they're gonna be like a bloodline, like a Timu bloodline, a better version of the Timu bloodline, if I would say, because they're actually gonna try oh, to oh, dominate and they are gonna dominate Raw for a little bit. I think they have to. If you're gonna continue like right now, if I come up with a group, it will be better than the Timu bloodline. That's if I get Ricky, if I get Ricky and I get anonymous, and then I get uh who else? Uh what was that guy that used vacant. to be in NXT? Vacant Vacant is the is the winningest <laughs> champion ever. Vacant, and then if I get uh <laughs> what was that one guy, the uh the the the, the Dominican dude? The Jose Dominican. Jose? Jose, oh, Jose. no way Jose no way Jose if I get them if I get that yo or or the, the kid the kid that won the tag team championship with the Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman? yeah definitely <laughs> Something and, uh, like that. and Adam Rose and Adam Rose that's his name right and see him fun dog see as long as I have Cody Rose dog on the corner just watching yeah. over, I got it. We win. Exactly. Pharaoh. <laughs> we get we get the superhero powers from, from the exactly. dog. Exactly. So okay, so you have Rhea and I have Liv winning. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Next match, which in my opinion is basically what there were the whole pay per views. I, I wasn't sure which one was gonna be the main event. I do think obviously because Rome is there and Cody's there, it's gonna be the that's going to be the the Tag main match. event, but honestly, the this whole pay per view has been built on this match, which is actually a real feud. It's a blood feud. There's really not much to it because it's not like this whole convoluted crazy story. Just two guys that don't like each other, and that's fine, oh right? Oh, see, I'm punking Drew McIntyre. I forgot. Yeah, it's their. But it, honestly, it's it's I where I just want them to go away. No, actually, no. I actually like this feud a lot. Like, I, I like this feud. Honestly, it's the feud that's been, in my opinion, has been uh, holding up Raw for, I mean, since WrestleMania. I mean, it's because you're a punk fan, but I, I no, but it's the only no, not just punk fan, really but that. everybody, everybody, a lot of people have been saying that. Like, it's a lot of people have said it's a feud of the year and everything, which I agree with. Uh, I think it's it's been well constructed. They they haven't wrestled that much because. Obviously, you don't want to take too many risks with CM Punk. So, uh, but it's been but it's been good, and the mic they've been great. Drew's been doing amazing things on 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 social media. So there, you know, there, there is something to it. Granted, uh, I do think that we, like I said in the last time, that we needed to end in Hell in a Cell or some kind of major gimmick match <laughs> to end the feud. And I think this is where it ends. And and I, I honestly, I think it could be a match of the night. Just because of their storytelling, they're both two guys that are great in the ring, great on the mic. They're experienced. They're not going to do anything extremely stupid. Yes, they're going to probably going to bleed all over the place, but it's not going to be any team. It's not going to be AEW type of <laughs> type of carnage. But there's nothing you know? wrong with stupid. <laughs> uh, there is. There is. 
Um, so, uh, like I said, I, I, I really, I really like this feud. Uh, where do you, where, do, who do you think's gonna win this? <clears throat> I got CM Punk winning. Yeah, me too. I think there's no question. I think this, this one's is the one that I'm almost 100 percent sure. I mean, the baby face has to win, unless Punk okay. turns heel, and we're gonna do some kind of weird, <laughs> uh, weird heel turn. Double and, turn. <laughs> for no reason at all. <laughs> yeah, it was just like uh it it was Vince McMahon all along. <laughs> <laughs> Drew McIntyre steals TM Punk's dog. He's like, no. <laughs> Fox. He got the bracelet and the dog. No. <laughs> but I still have AJ. I want the dog. <laughs> like, yeah, he's over the it's dog. the same. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be disrespectful. Is that Amon no. Ross St. Brown? The sun god. What did he do? Oh, uh, no, that's not the sun god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought worst. it was the sun god. It's Sam Laporta coming out from, like... From a virtual this virtual man, retirement? This, this man has been, like, the undertaker. Like, he only comes out, apparently, on, on, a, on a special games because... All these titans have been MIA. But anyways, go ahead. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, so you guys, I, look, I, I have CM Punk <clears throat> now, too. I mean, easy, easy, easy. And I hope this feud is done for. And let's see what's going to happen next after this uh, with Punk and Survivor Drew. Series, they're going to come up with their own war games teams. And then they're going to it's just going to be literally Survivor Series is going to be like five war game matches. Actually, no, I have the <laughs> I have the worst ending possible. <laughs> After all, right? They both beat the hell out of each other. CM Punk wins. They hug each other. And then they hug. It would be like, why? Why? <laughs> Thank you, mate, for giving me the me the, the best batch of my life. Whoa. Oh, here. I, I got best both. Best night of, of my life. I got both of the bracelets. Hold on. Let me get it out of my head. No, no, I, no, CM Punk comes in. He's like, I have matching Fraser bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. no. They, uh, just pull a, they just pull a whole SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, God. We are the, the, friends. You know the separate? No, I think I thought that, right? Uno says he. Look, yeah. two with the heart, yeah. two. One does one. I bet you on camera it's not going to look right. Hey, yo, what is he doing? <laughs> what? What is he doing with that mic? Why is he trying to grab it like that? <laughs> is he throwing out GAN signs or what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gibbs just had a nice run, by the way. Gibbs just had a. It was about right, 12 yeah. yards. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta check in a bit. But anyways, moving on to wrestling again. Uh, we have the main event, which is the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and um, and who? The OTC, the only tribal chief, the megastar. No, for real. No, that's LA Knight. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, copyright infringement. Uh, Fox. Roman Reigns versus uh, Solo, Sikoa, and Jacob Fatu. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Which I'm kind of mad. Like, I was I, I was going to say this at the beginning and I forget, before I forget. Because you know you know my, my, my head. Um, Dan, I forgot, bro. I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm kind of mad that there is no tag mat tag titles on the on the line. Not women or men. Well, yeah, but like, I, like you know what I mean. Jacob is half of the tag tag title since they're apparently pulling a whole new day all over again. Yeah, but Solo said that Jacob's not oh, going to. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, never yeah, going to yeah. do it again. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, just I forgot that, his that, that he made he made Jacob uh, give it to us through it. So yeah, yeah, biggest mistake ever. That's... <laughs> Can't even hold the title right. <laughs> well, look at Sam Laporta; he's actually doing good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely, Roman is not winning. Roman and Cody are not winning. Uh, okay. Cody, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, uh, Kevin Owens or Randy Orton is going to get involved. Probably Randy Orton. He is the Palpatine of everything. Just the, the mind. 
pulling the strings from behind pause and uh he's gonna betray K cody rhodes i hope and then you're gonna have because realistically roman what roman said on that one promo a couple of weeks ago whenever he was like hey this is family business that doesn't involve you was true like it's true it it, it does not involve cody rhodes but and, and like once we had that one night that he was like no i'm done with the bloodline and then apparently the man was not done with the bloodline because at the end he came out was like oh well you said that this is your wwe so then i'm gonna come out and get involved again it's like bro come on man like go away, that big, go that, away. That, that, go, uh, what's the saying in spanish the about what? Te pisa, te pisa o te haces rolo. ¿Cómo es? Bueno, te, te peina o te haces rolo. <laughs> te peina o te haces rolo. Te pisa. My bad. Te peina o te haces rolo. <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. Like, <laughs> like the side. Like, bro, like, you're just, like, so undecisive. Well, but Man, that's what, that's why he also had issues. But that's why he also had issues with, um, with Kevin Owens. Because Kevin Owens even yeah, told him, he's like, up. bro. Yeah, bring that you, up. Bring that you up. You already, well, you already have a tag team, uh, a tag team partner. So why are you even like go away? Like Kevin Owens is like he hadn't didn't want anything to do with Cody Rhodes. He cost him the match. After the match, they go like face to face, right? And Randy's there in the middle trying to calm everybody down. But Kevin Owens is not wrong. Kevin Owens is not wrong in this whole situation, no, in my opinion. Not. Uh Jameer gives another touchdown, by the way. Let's go. Two touchdowns. So um yeah, like, and then Randy Orton is just in the middle trying to supposedly calm every, everything down. But Kevin Owens has all the rights to feel bad, to feel mad. You know what I mean? And and to yeah. be honest with you, I like Kevin Owens right now because of the fact is that he is like, dude, like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our thing. Stop getting involved. Because Cody just wants to be involved with everything. And that's the biggest problem that he just wants to be he, like, everywhere. And it's like, bro. Arro Blanco. Mind your business. Yes. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. And he doesn't do it. That's what's going to cost him. They're, they're going to pop him. You know? He, that, 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 that. But, but how? 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 You know what? There, I, I think there's two ways of going about it. I, I do agree. I think that Cody and Roman are going to lose. There's two ways it can happen. One, it's going to be obviously Kevin Owens and Randy or some kind of one com combination of them two betraying the other blah 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 or what if the rock shows up takes out Cody and leaves Roman by himself <laughs> with the rest of the bloodline and that's it I could see that happening too I don't know do you really think that bad blood will be like a big enough pay-per-view for the rock to come out bro he's part but of the they board. Have to he's He's part of the board of TKO now, so he's going to show that up. That is true. That do is stuff. True, he's gonna, he was going to want to make the show because right now that would give the opportunity to making that show into a bigger deal than what it, than what it should be. And then on top of that, you really have to create like that bad blood feeling, even though like it's enough for Roman and the whole bloodline thing. But like, you somehow have to start setting it up for for Survivor Series. And if the rumors are true that apparently Roman Reigns is going to have a match against Cody um, at Crown Jewel for the title, which I hope there is not. Because there's no like, reason it would just for it. Derail, it would derail the story, one. And number two, there is no reason for it. Roman doesn't need that belt. No, I think it would be a disservice to him. And then what are you going to do? Have Cody beat him again? So that makes Roman look bad. Or then <laughs> Cody loses. And then what's with this whole reign? Like. Is he just going to turn heel right after Crown Jewel of all things? No, no I don't think. That, that, what would be the point of Roman chasing the bloodline at that point? No, because he already has what he needed, which is the championship. It's like, uh, hey, just hey exactly, Jimmy, because... hey Jay, and you're back to Jimmy, <laughs> Jay, and uh, and uh, and Sammy, and you're back to a better version of the bloodline. So uh, uh, a uh, baby face version. Yeah, well, better version than the Timu version. Anything is better. Like I said, Ricky, vacant, right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid that won the champion, the tag team championship the with the and no way, Jose. No way, Jose. Yeah, he's Osdruad. Yeah. He's, he's the owner. He's the the the, 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 the OG. He's, OTA. 
<laughs> original those three <laughs> but uh, but yeah man I, I, yeah but it definitely i i uh, i think you know uh, this one's going to be cinematic it's going to be interesting i think if they're just going to go the straight route it's just going to be kevin owens turning on turning on cody um so second so option you have that theory you have that theory I, of the rock now i have i think yeah just the throwing it out there just throwing a crazy idea yes i think to me that would be more exciting because kevin owens and randy Orton, we already know there's some issues there but what if the rock comes out we're expect everybody's expecting maybe the rock to save roman or something like that he just turns on roman and just takes out cody because there's rumors of cody versus the rock at mania also so that could be the start of that which i hope it's not but it could be and but that gonna, would be exciting i was gonna say my theory would be like the whole bloodline gets involved right and then rome and then cody i mean randy orton tells ko like at the beginning of the show like hey like we got cody's back if if the whole bloodline gets involved right and then they come out whenever the bloodline gets involved the rest of the bloodline gets involved and then whenever cody thinks he's about to win then you have the turn of randy orton yeah i, I would i would not be mad at that because I, I, like we've been saying for months, we want to see Cody against Randy. That's the only feud that he should have been having for the last year or so. That's the only one that makes sense because they have a history and people actually want to see that more than Roman against Cody or more than The Rock against Cody. You want to see Roman against Co Roman against The Rock in WrestleMania and Randy against Cody in WrestleMania. That's it. You have <laughs> two biggest main events you could possibly get for both days, in my opinion. And you're good, but but I don't know, man. It's a it's it's a little it's a little scary because sometimes with WWE they don't they don't necessarily go down the road that, that we want them to go, and sometimes they end up coming back to the road. But after <laughs> they've already been through, you know, they take the long route home instead of just it's going straight to the point. Um, yeah, man. What, what about? Oh, do you think else. do you think Jimmy's gonna have anything to do with it? Because we haven't even talked about Jimmy or, or even Jay showing up. Do you think I they're going to... I think Jimmy will show up once, like, probably the week after or something like that. Because you remember that Roman is supposed to come out that Friday. Okay. So, the next Friday. So, um... Because they want to give him something Jimmy, to do. I think Jimmy will come out then. But apparently he's hurt. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know if I should trust Rikishi. If I shouldn't, even though that his, that's his dad... You know yeah, but he's, so you know, he's he says all sorts of weird stuff. It's like he also said that oh, it was too early to push uh, Jacob Fatu. I'm like, bro, shut up! Like this guy was ready made. Like he came in as that a star. It doesn't make any sense because it's like, bro, you're pushing, you're like, you're it's, you're putting down your own bloodline, like realistically. Well, and, and <laughs> I, I think it's because he's he's outshining his own son. He's outshining Solo. Because realistically, the biggest threat there is Jacob. Like everybody's definitely afraid of jacob not of solo yeah like nobody really cares kind of like what kind of like kevin owens said he's like oh, you shut up because nobody cares about what you have to say and he's not wrong because nobody really cared you about what he wrong mm -hmm. so yeah bro but let's see let's see what happens uh so anyways guys uh just remember to like subscribe let us know in the comments what you think your predictions are going to be. Uh, who you think uh, should be facing... Uh, actually, you know what? We, we should start very soon. <coughs> what do you think uh, WrestleMania card is going to be? Just kind of an early prediction. Let us know what you guys think would be at least a good you know, night one and night two main event. Just let us know. <laughs> All right, guys. Just take care. Peace.